Mike and Mike's Bags. Today I'm reviewing the Luna by Fly Cornhole. It's been a while since I've thrown a, a bag from Fly Cornhole. I'm a big fan of the company. I, I love a lot of their bags. I've done, reviewed quite a few of their bags on my channel. You can go back and check them out if you want to. Let's go ahead and dive in. We'll break these Lunas down and we'll start with slow side. Hybrid material, it is what I call that clone material. Not the same as the Viper R, it's the different material. It's the same slow side that you find on the B3 Coyote, the Swagbags Tornado, uh, Sub-Zero Winter Tides, S Southwest Hefe's, Buffalo Sauce, Cornographics Hustle, the Costello X. There's quite a few companies out there that have this material and use it. A lot of bags use it. It's a very popular material. I, I call it a five speed. It newer it plays like a five and a half, six speed. But once you start to break it in, soften it up, it gets down to about a, a five speed on there. And the beauty of these hybrid materials, this is no exception, is they play fairly consistent across all conditions. So if you, you know, if you live in an area where weather, humidity, temperature, things change, or you play in tournaments that go through the day and into the evening and, and you have to deal with different playing conditions a hybrid material like this is wonderful because it stays fairly consistent it's not going to fluctuate a lot like some other materials do so five speed and slow side fast side this is the same fast side material that fly uses on the magic it's that game changer surefire fast side eight and a half speed it's fast it's great for collecting pushing bags cleaning up messes blowing up piles a wonderful fast side material so five speed slow eight and a half on the fast Template wise, this Luna is a medium template bag, kind of that standard template you're seeing most ACL bags go to. So medium template, it's got a medium amount of fill to it. So you have some flop, it is not overly floppy, which makes this bag kind of fall right in that middle, that just right spot. So if you like a if you like a fuller bag, you can throw the Luna. If you like a floppier bag, you can still throw the Luna, you can get away with it. The fill in here is a it's, I think it's a mixture. There's some different sizes, but it's it's mostly, if not 100% flat fill in here. There's a different size, probably some different weights in here of the flat fill. I don't feel any round beads. If there are, there's not many or they're hiding in here, but it's mostly a flat fill. And I don't know if Fly uses the same fill across the board, but from my what I, my recollection from reviewing their bags is they tend to use a, a flat fill mixture in all their bags. I don't recall having too many other than the Raven. The Raven had some a bouncy bead fill. I don't remember any of the other bags they have having that. So if you're familiar with Fly, you've thrown a lot of their bags, like the like the Magic, the 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 Banshee, the the Nemesis, some of those bags out there, then you probably are familiar with the fill that Fly uses. Now again, I'm not sure if it's the exact same fill, but it's very similar to the feeling of that. And that flat fill gives the bag some forgiveness on the landing. You know, one of the things with this material is it does have a kick to it. If you get a bag that's got a bouncy, active fill, it's going to kick really hard. This Luna does not. It has that more forgiving, softer landing fill, so it takes a lot of that kick away. Still has some kick to it, but if you don't throw the flattest of bags, you can still throw the Luna and get away with it. Uh, these bags are ACL stamped for 2024, so if you th if you play in the ACL, you can throw the Lunas out there. Let's go ahead and jump in, and we'll talk about playability on these bags. And it's a versatile bag. This material is very versatile in what you can do with it. If you want to get up there and just run bags in the hole, you can do it. No problem with that. I, I will say that the, if I'm, I'm, I'm going to nitpick here. I'm really going to nitpick. But one of the things, and I talk about fill all the time, is one of my one of my issues with flat fill is it tends to want to hang on the hole. It's not as hole friendly as a round fill is. Now you get that forget. I talked about the forgiveness of landing. You put round fill in here and the bag's gonna have bounce and movement and kick and be very punishing. But by putting that flat fill and getting that forgiveness, you're gonna give up a little bit of the hole friendliness. And, and, and again, I'm nitpicking. These materials are very hole friendly. I had no problem with it. But every now and then when I would throw a bag a little off and that corner would grab, the bag would just sit there. Because the flat fill settles and, and sets on top of each other because it has flat spots to rest, it doesn't, it's not that active. It's not moving. It's not trying to find a, a uh, a, a spot to set on where you have round fill all the time. You have the round fill. Round beads don't want to stack on top of each other. They want they keep moving until they find a spot to settle and rest. And that movement is what causes these bags to kind of slowly drip and cascade in the hole. With this, you don't get that. That being said, because the bag's not super floppy, if a bag's left hanging up there, very easy to collect. You didn't really have to go crazy aggressive to get these bags in there. So, you know, just as long as it's not your last bag, you put a bag up there, you can definitely put it in the hole. And I say that if I threw the bag right and I didn't miss my mark, the bag was going in the hole. That was an issue if I was off of my landing zone, you know, missing left or right, and the bag was still grabbing the hole and hanging there. That's when it showed up. Again, nitpicking, and I don't want to say the bags are not hole friendly. They are. Just be aware of that. But if you want to run bags in the hole, you can do it with the Luna. If you want to play a dirty style game, you can definitely do this bag. You have enough control the slow side to throw blockers up there pretty much wherever you want level one level two level three kind of where you want to place it you can really put this bag where you want and cause a lot of chaos a lot of congestion up there the, the slow side actually makes a decent blocker there's enough stick enough bite to it that when you throw it up there's a blocker it can cause bags to kick off if you're not 
good with your push shots. And I will say that on that note, when you're when I was trying to collect them, if I didn't really come and get more in the middle, if I tried to clip a corner because it's so good at kicking bags off, I found myself kind of my collect my push bag wanting to kind of kind of spin around it or spin by it and not drag it. So just I had found myself I had to come more, you know, a third of the way or so into the bag to clip it and ride the bag up there. If I had a level three blocker, it might take two bags to collect. Fast side is plenty fast. If I threw fast side and I caught the bag in the middle, I could ride it all the way up. If I caught the bag on the edge, I would spin it and I'd take the next bag to bring it the rest of the way up there. No problem whatsoever. If you want to play a dirty style game, you can do it with this bag and, and like I said, put those blockers where you want. Cause a lot of chaos on the boards and really, really mess with your opponent. If you want to play the shot shaping game, cuts, rolls, flops, I think you can do it with this bag. Maybe not the best bag. I talked about the forgiveness on the landing. The bag doesn't have a lot of balance or activity, which is typically what you want when you want bags that are easier to cut, roll, flop, stuff like that. But if you're, you know, if you're above average to advance those in those skill levels, you can definitely do this bag. I had no problem throwing cuts with this. I had no problem getting the bag to kind of bounce up. You know, it, it will, it will roll, no problem whatsoever. If you're, if you're learning how to do it, probably not the best. Bag to learn on, uh, but if you know if you're below average on the skill levels, maybe not the best bag for that. But if you actually if you can cut, roll, flop, you can do any bag. I had no problem, so it does shot shaping well. Uh, so if you know if you play against opponents who throw blockers up there with this bag, you have options to get around it and not necessarily go through the bag. You have plenty of speed if you want to just push through and keep the on the fast side, keep the boards clean, you can do it. But if you don't want to, like I said, you got the options to get around, cut, rolls, flops. You know, obviously air mails, you can do all that as well. So it's a bag that does give you options on there. Now, my overall thoughts on this, Luna, and I'm gonna be brutally honest here for a moment, but stick with me. Let me get through this thought. Don't 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 jump to conclusions. Don't leave too early here. Uh, on this bag, when I do reviews, I'm always looking for where does that bag excel? What area Area, is that bag awesome and what type of player is that bag just going to be amazing for and with Luna I, I, I struggled with that I struggled with review trying to figure out where it really excelled because there was not one area that I thought the bag was just amazing in but it didn't have a weakness either it was really it, it was really solid across the board in every situation every category like it's a really well-rounded bag it just doesn't have a standout area or standout thing that it does so and I really think that that makes this bag kind of a great bag for beginners. If you're jumping new to the cornhole world, you don't know where to start. Luna's a great solid bag to jump in. And as you get better and improve, it's a bag that'll grow with you. If you're a player that you have two or three of your favorite bags in your backpack, but you're looking for a bag that'll fill in the gaps between those, I think the Luna does that because it does, it does everything really well. So it'll kind of fill in the gaps that you may have in your backpack. For me, it's, it's probably a bag that I struggled to find a spot in my backpack for because again, I like to pick bags that excel in what I'm looking to do in that game. But that being said, if I went to a blind draw and we partnered up and you pulled these out, I'm happy. Like I look at this bag and go, yes, I can play that bag. I can do it. I want to do it. I have no problems with it. It's a solid bag. I do recommend it. Uh, definitely a bag that I think most of you are going to like if you get your hands on. So definitely, if it sounds like what you're looking for, check out Fly Cornhole. Uh, it leaves me an availability on this. And Fly has a website, flycornhole.com. The bags, the Lunas were $90 and it's $10.95 $10 shipping. So $100.95 is what they were shipped to me, which is kind of that mid price point. High quality bag for that. I definitely recommend it. You're, you're getting your money's worth on that. I have no issues with that price point on that. If you've thrown the Lunas, I'd love to hear your feedback, your thoughts on that, whether you agree with me or not. If I got something wrong, let me know. Uh, if, if you know, Let me know your thoughts. Drop in the comments down below your thoughts on these Lunas. I thank you so much for your support. And I thank you for watching.